If you're lucky, you'll have a few variable capacitors around. But variable inductors are much less common. Here's an idea where you can use two fixed inductors to achieve a variation over quite a wide range. The first coil is 24 turns of speaker wire on a former about 40 millimeters in diameter. It's a bit of plastic pipe. Its total inductance is just under 17 microhenry. The second inductor has 38 turns but is on thinner 25 millimeter pipe. Its total inductance is 13 microhenries. The reason for the thinner pipe is so that you can slide it inside the thicker pipe. That will allow you to vary the inductance. With the two inductors apart and connected in series, the total value is just under 30 microhenries, which is what you'd expect. 17 plus 30 is 30. The interesting thing is what happens when you slide one inductor inside the other. It's different depending on the orientation of the smaller inductor relative to the larger inductor. When I slide it all the way in like this, the inductance increases up to nearly 45 microhenry. Remembering that we had the two in series with the inner out at being 30 microhenry, if we move the inner a little bit further out, then we'll be able to get an intermediate value. Hence we have an almost continuously variable inductor over the range 30 to 44 microhenry. With these two like that, it's 30 microhenry. What if we want to go lower than 30? An easy way is instead of going like that, you twist it over and you insert it like this. So the turns are different relative to one another. With it all the way in, it's around 14 microhenry. Again, you can get an intermediate value if you slide the middle out. Just to recap, this is the first coil, 24 turns on 40 millimeters of pipe, this is the second smaller coil, 38 turns on 25 millimeter. Here is where it's 30 microhenry. This is where it's 45. And you can vary between 30 and 45. And here's where you change the orientation to get 14 as a minimum, but you can go up to 30. So with this arrangement, you have a variable inductor going from 14 up to 45 microhenry. That's quite a large inductance. It may be suitable for an antenna coupler on 160 meters, 80 meters, possibly even a crystal set for the AM broadcast band if you've got a suitable capacitor. You could actually use a fixed capacitor, not a variable capacitor, and be able to tune a section of the AM broadcast band with this arrangement. At one time it was popular to build crystal sets in matchboxes and one of the ways of doing it was to have a larger coil sliding over a smaller coil on the inner tray to vary the inductance. With you flipping the outer relative to the inner to change the frequency range to another part of the medium wave band. So just to summarise, this is a way of achieving a variable inductance without any switches or taps. You just slide the smaller inside the larger. And if you want a bigger range, then you change the orientation of the smaller when you slide it inside the larger, and you'll get lower rather than higher values. That's because the two inductances, one inside another, partially cancel each other out. Have you visited my new website yet? Same URL, vk3ye.com, but with a lot more items. More technical tutorials, 
more projects and a more secure server that's faster as well. That's vk3ye.com. Visit it today.